Listing Titles and SEO. This is episode three of Stable Side Hustle. My name is Ron Iraeta, and I have covered uh, two episodes already. Um, just to touch base on the last episode, uh, what and where to sell. Um, I basically covered um, how I basically got started uh, selling stuff around my house, going to thrift stores, visiting flea markets, swap meets, and then from there finding suppliers and narrowing down, you know, what, what my product niche, my niche market is go- was going to be, which is retro video games and, and whatnot. So in this episode, I'm going to be covering titles and titles are particularly important because they are basically, you know, how you bring traffic to your, to your store. And at this point, at this point in time, if you're a beginner, then this episode is is going to be a little bit, you know, far more advanced because th- when I talk about listings and stuff, I expect you to already have listings going and be already familiar with some of the terminology like search search engine optimization, SEO, and how that all works within your your store within ebay or etsy or wherever you use mercari um and and google and the other search engines that are used um throughout the web so google being the most important that's the one that i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna talk a little bit about and some of the stuff is you know i even me myself i don't i don't fully know it you know i just because i'm i never you know trained on it or anything like that or you know I never really covered it I just know that it works because I used it on 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 my listings Um, so a little bit of uh, uh, why it's important so when you when you start out and you start listing you particularly want to create create your listing so when I started selling I would check out an item go on the web, see if it's sold, excuse me, and create the title, create the title. And from there it was like, it either sells or it doesn't. Right. So, but then I started realizing that there's more to it than, than just creating a listing. Um, I had to think exactly how, how it all works, because if you put yourself in your customer's shoes, then you realize that what you think about a product or, you know, off the top of your head, how you're going to list it is different than, you know, how they're looking, looking for something, right? So imagine yourself, you're looking for, you know, a pair of headphones. Are you going to put, you know, Bluetooth headphones, wired headphones, the brand, maybe you put beats. So you, you kind of have to, when you come across an item or you start thinking about, bigger picture then you really have to know what you're doing with your titles because those those keywords inside your title are are going to be the what drives more views to your listings and and converts more sales because that's essentially that's that's how you you're going to be able to um you know grow your 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 business because at this point you know you're you have I'm hoping more than a few hundred listings out there. Um, so if you haven't thought about it before, now is the time to kind of like, you know, think about what you carry and how you're going to create the listing. So uh, first off, like if you sell on eBay, just on eBay, eBay itself has has a search engine. So they, they have their own, their own, you know, system that, their own how do you how do you say it like their own brain like if you're within the ebay marketplace that marketplace is going to have your listings out there and depending on what the titles are they may capture a certain words and a pool of people can put in that keyword like you know let's say hot wheels or vintage hot wheels those are two separate things if you have your listings as hot wheels 
is going to be different than if somebody puts vintage Hot Wheels. That word might trigger more views and it'll get more views on your listings and then they'll probably convert. So let's assume that you're going through, you're, you're using eBay. So if you use eBay, then you really want to research it. But think of think of all your listings as how can I get more views on my listings? So the the title is is what's going to get those people to you know your search your your title is going to come out on search right so then out of that search then they're going to look at your your title or your thumbnail but the title is the one that's going to populate that search for you right if they don't click on the on the link it's because your picture is not so great but for for this you know episode we're talking about titles so you want to make sure that your titles are nice and clean don't use all caps i know like a lot of people want to stand out and use emojis like don't do that do research see what's what what you're what you're selling and you kind of want to replicate that if you see a seller that has a lot more like volume in terms of feedback or sales or you know whatever then you kind of want to copy their their style but keep it clean and make sure you're very descriptive so for you know i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about clothes because clothes is really really you know it's a, like a popular item to sell right clothes is cheap you know a lot of people sell clothes so clothes if you look closely for example shoes they have they have tags on those tags is a it's a model number um most of the shoes that i've seen have them they they're they're next to the, the sizing and you can use that as part of your title so let's say that you're looking at you know an a6 running shoe for women size six if you put in there you know you put a6 running shoe women size six but then you put the the model number automatically with that model number you're gonna go to a pool of people that are looking for that particular model first off which that's going to trigger a a you're going to get more people that are already interested in the model number so it's just, it's just going to come down to size and condition right so make sure you use the model number and keep it as descriptive as possible so i would put you know a6 um a6 running shoe women's you know size six the model number and then include the color if you have the color on there that's also going to put yourself apart from uh other uh, uh other sellers so if somebody's you know if you're selling a blue shoe it's going to be different than selling a pink shoe so make sure you put the color on there um and and that way if you if you just sell shoes and you follow the same you know rule or the same process in place if you have the same process in place then you're going to be able to stand out and you're going to be able to keep on feeding the eBay search engine. And um, that's one way for you to be able to to differentiate yourself from from other sellers. Um, now, if you use the same uh, concept, you should be able to rank higher in Google. So so Google is the most popular one that I feel that everybody uses. Right, because Google's so so easy and everything is free. So everybody uses Google and the same thing with them. You want to make sure that you follow the same and you make you know changes to your titles so you can you know come up and search with Google. So it takes usually I think it takes like twenty four to four forty eight hours before you you can come up on Google, but um, it's a very good, very good way for you to to drive more views onto your items that you're selling, and you want to put yourself in your customer's shoes. Always think of, you know, if you were buying something, what would you type in instead of going to the mar- instead of going to the store? You go to the store and you look for whatever. Think of yourself. Okay, I'm gonna look for uh, a black shirt, or I'm gonna look for you know, blue jeans that are, you know, um, what's it called? Um, that are heavier duty. 
um, then you want to make sure you use those those words because that's how you're going to get more views. Don't don't just put don't just generalize and put uh, blue jeans and use condition you know size 34. That doesn't really like set yourself apart and doesn't help you get more views, which is what you want. Um, and then focus on the platform. So if you're selling on eBay, it's different than if you're going to be selling on on Mercari. Um, things work uh, a little bit differently. eBay has been in the market for a lot longer time, so they're far more advanced. They have you know many 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 years and teams that focus on how to get more more um, uh, checkouts because they obviously make money off of your your, your you selling as well. So they want to make sure, but you, you got to do your part and and focus on how to rank higher. Um, basically, um, so if you're selling on Mercari, then maybe they don't have that many. They just added having more than I think it was 40 characters, so they they increased it because the titles are a pretty uh, pretty powerful to drive more more views. So they just inc increased that that field size. So you you should be able to to get you know more content on there, but you know you want to research the listings in your market and and replicate it right so if you're selling shoes do your research and you you kind of want to replicate what others are doing and make changes and make sure you're very specific on the shoe that you're selling so it can come up on 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 search and always like when you're out there buying also think about Okay, is this is this shoe going to be more popular? I, you already know that blue is more is a more popular color. So if you go to a go to a thrift store, or you go to Swami, or you're in the opportunity to buy a shoe, you know that the two that you're gonna that you're gonna choose from just because one is more popular than the other. But you have to kind of check, and when you're researching, also make sure that you check the model number because that's going to be a way for you to. Um, to make a better buying decision, it's going to turn into a better title, and you're going to get more views, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. And a lot of people have like they they click on um, they save searches for keywords. Uh, so like for the Hot Wheels, if you if you uh, if you list a vintage Hot Wheel, you're more than likely going to appear in somebody's uh, notification that hey there, there's new items that have been listed under vintage hot wheels and then your listing is going to be on there and that's going to be easier for you to automatically you know get a potential buyer because you want buyers obviously you don't want somebody just looking at your stuff you want buyers so that that's one way for you to look at look at it you want to make sure that you have certain keywords in there do your research and um, you know replicate the the same thing and you can do it do that across different types of merchandise so you can do it with hot wheels you can do it with shoes you can do it with video games i mean movies music you name it yeah you can use the same type of um approach and you know replicate the 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 same concept that you're using for for your items and once you have all your listings and you know you have made changes to your titles Go back to, for example, eBay has, like everybody has, like analytic tools, analytics tools. So go back to eBay, go to review the analytics and take a look to see, because you're going to be able to see the views and you're going to be able to see the the conversion rate and the sell-through rate. You're going to be able to see exactly if at a, any given time, if you change, you know, today in two weeks, you're going to see the change. You're going to be able to notice hey you know i made changes to my titles it's there's an uptick in in more people looking at them so review the analytics and after you review the analytics you can see where you can make changes and go ahead and tweak the titles um based on those analytics because now you should be able to to make changes and um get a lot more views so um, it's really important for you to, to take the titles really seriously. Uh, in 2020, I, I, I knew that there has to be more to it, right? Like you can't just list on your store and hope that the stuff sells, right? You can share it on social media. You can do this, you can do that. 
You can do a bunch of different, you know, ways for you to try and promote your listings. But, you know, I thought about it and I said that there has to be more to this than, than just, you know, listing and sharing all over the place. Right. And I looked into it and it turns out that titles are what drives the views. So I, you know, I went through all my listings and I started doing research. Luckily for me, um, unlike a lot of sellers, I've, I'm, I'm actually beyond the sell the stuff out of my house. Right. So I'm able to narrow down and do research based on my niche and make changes to my listings based on that. Right. So I know that, for example, I have Nintendo 64 games. I'll put Nintendo space 64, but I'll also put N64 because I know that people, when they look, they're lazy or, you know, they know that they they go based on, you know, what they're used to searching for. So they just put N64, right? But that's another thing that's going to, you know, it's going to hook more people. Um, so you know, the, this episode is, is, is really just about highlighting how important your titles are to your, to your store and to drive traffic. So just go back to your store, check all your listings, see if you have them, don't use emojis. I mean, I mean, I have used them before and I have gotten some sales, but it's better to take them off because the search engines can't read that as text and they can't feed it. Like they're not, People, customers are not searching for, you know, a, a CD emoji or, you know, a flame or a, a smiley. They're searching for text. They're putting in I want or, you know, they're looking for uh, running shoes, Nike, you know. And then if you have that, then you need to use those words in your in your listing is, is basically the, the point of this episode. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you how important it is to to how it has worked for me and the result that obviously I've, I've gotten was I got a lot more traffic, a lot more sales. I was able to convert more sales and um, going forward since last year, I was able to um, use the same concept to all my listings. I know how important it is and it, it really, um, you know, helped me out. So uh, I hope that you found value out of this episode and feel free to reach out. Um, just so you guys know, we I, I started getting listens, which is you know greatly appreciated. If you're out there and you um, you have listened to a few of these episodes, um, hit me up on Instagram, you know, add me and send me a message, and I'd be more than happy to help in any way I can. And on my next episode, I'm going to be talking about photography. Um, thank you very much, and best of luck to your to your selling. <music>